Hey guys, out to Marco here, and this is going to be your Friday video report. Going to give you a free pick on the Packers and Colts in just a moment, and also preview the Rams Chiefs game. Also, a money saving discount coupon that'll save you $20 off of a uh, single purchase today. That's coming up as well. Uh, hey, listen, we could talk last night about the preseason games, but first, I think there's something a little more important. Have you seen the news out of New York? Now, I'm not talking about Hurricane Irene barreling up the coast could potentially swamp New York City or Long Island. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about Derek Jeter and Minka Kelly breaking up after three years. I mean, it's been a tough year for Derek Jeter. I mean, sure, he got his 3,000th career hit, but, you know, no longer the everyday leadoff batter. Whispers that he's definitely on the slippery slope toward the end of his career. Not worth the money the Yankees are paying him. But now Minka and Derek, no longer a twosome. <sighs> I, I, I don't know how I'm going to get through this weekend, guys. I, I mean, this is devastating news. I mean, she's been there for him the past three years. You know, he's always been considered somewhat of a playboy. But Minka, better things await you. Well, maybe not that Charlie's Angels reboot that you're going to be starring in this season, but still, make a Kelly on the market once more. So that's the big news today. Uh, as for last night, preseason action, well, I told you the Philadelphia Eagles would beat uh, Cleveland by 11 points. They were up 24 nothing going into the fourth quarter. They won it by 10. That's all that matters. Another preseason winner last night. It was another 15-dime release, so I'm 6-2 and two overall this preseason, hitting 5 out of 7 of those 15-dime plays. Now, I'll tell you what, guys, as I've already alluded to. I'm going to give you a free play on one of the games tonight and a preview of the other. The numbers simply aren't that good in tonight's preseason action. So instead, it's back to baseball, where it's been one heck of a baseball run the past two and a half months. Another 15-dime release, a play every bit as strong as the Eagles were last night. And that's something that I think gamblers sometimes make a mistake about. They weigh one sport a little heavily, a little more heavy than other sports. And that makes no sense. You know, if a play is rated equally, in my case, a 15-dime release, if it's a football or a baseball play, it doesn't matter. You stay true to your money management system in accordance to knowing how much you are actually playing on those particular wagers based on the rating, but the sport simply doesn't matter. My overall run, 60 43 and 1 over the past 62 days. And uh, again, as I said, that 15 dime play tonight is in baseball, but same play as uh, the Eagles last night, same 15 dime releases in the NFL that I'm 38 and 22 with over the past four years, same 15 dimers in the NBA that I'm 26 and 11 with over the past two seasons. Also, kudos going out to uh, Scott Delaney. Last night, biggest preseason play ever of his career. He also was on Philadelphia in that one. Uh, cashing in with the Eagles, now uh, 944 dimes of net profit for uh, Scott Delaney over the past 159 days, which means a $10 better has won $9,447 in a five-month period following Scott's advice every single day. Uh, handicapper uh, tonight, uh, Anthony Red. Now, I'll be honest with you. You know, I always tell you the good and the bad, and I don't sugarcoat anything. Uh, lost his fourth straight preseason game last night as the Cleveland Browns did not deliver for him. And frankly, Anthony, so what? Since I had the Eagles, I'm glad they lost for you. But still, I do feel bad, obviously, for customers. But hey, there's a winner and a loser in every game. And sometimes you're on the right side and sometimes you're not. But Anthony has had one heck of a baseball season. A $10 better has won $5,585 in baseball so far this season. Tonight, 75 dime baseball winner, number three out of four. It's his American League Dog of the Year. Only the 14th time in his career he's had a 75 dime play in baseball, 36 and 24 lifetime with 75 dime plays in all sports. So that's what Anthony Red has going tonight. And if you're looking for a guy who has a big uh, football play, you might want to check out Chuck O'Brien tonight. Uh, number one baseball handicapper at this site over the past two summers. But tonight, his biggest release of the preseason, 50 dime play, St. Louis and Kansas City, 21 and 10 run with 40 dimers. And of course, this play is bigger than all of them. Now, let me first get you your money-saving discount coupon code tonight, guys. It is going to be, uh, for tonight, 20STORM. 
20 storm, 20 and the word storm, S T O R M. Put it all together, no space between the number or the word. That'll save you $20 off of a single purchase tonight. Uh, you don't have to use it for me, you can use it for anybody here on the site. $20 off, 20 storm is that money saving discount coupon code. Well, let's talk about the first game here between uh, Green Bay and Indianapolis. We all know what the Colts have uh, this preseason, and that is nothing. I mean, they have been absolutely awful, but no big surprise there. They've lost eight consecutive preseason games straight up. Lost their opener 33-10 at St. Louis. Lost last week 16-3 as a home favorite against Washington. Uh, now the starters are going to play for Jim Caldwell's crew into the third quarter tonight. Curtis Painter is going to start once again at quarterback. Is that a good thing? Absolutely not. Uh, there's a reason they went out and signed Kerry Collins who will probably be their opening day starter of Peyton Manning. It's not ready for the regular season opener 10 days from now. I mean, uh, Painter, eight for 16 yards, nine or eight for 16, 95 yards and in an interception with no touchdown drives produced so far this preseason. Um, Jesus, I mean, you know, in the Washington game last week, the Colts offense only got past its 29 yard line once. They only gained one first down in Painter's uh, first half of action. Uh, he and uh, Dan Orlovsky, their combined passer rating so far in the preseason, 34.4. I think the maximum passer rating you can achieve is like 153. They're at 34.4. Uh, one touchdown and a combined four interceptions, and the Colts still have a lot of injury problems. You know, Anthony Gonzalez is out tonight. Austin Colley is out tonight. Uh, they're starting safety. Antoine uh, Bethea is out tonight. Uh, you know, so the Packers are obviously the play here, but you, me, and everybody else in the world knows the Packers are the play here, and that's why the Packers have jumped up in some places to a nine-point favorite in this game from seven and a half yesterday. Now, they rallied to beat Arizona 28-20 to last week, uh, playing at home. Aaron Rodgers, nine for 12, 97 yards and a touchdown. Matt Flynn coming in off the bench, five for 641 yards and a touchdown. Graham Harrell. Uh, who's played surprisingly well, the former Texas Tech quarterback, as their third stringer, uh, for 7 for 9, 81 yards, and also a touchdown pass as well. The only downside for the Packers is those quarterbacks were sacked a combined four times last week by Arizona. Now tonight, Mike McCarthy says his starters are going to play about one and one quarters of action. Um, they are not going to come out. He has made it quite clear they are not going to come out for the third quarter of this contest because he wants to evaluate his, evaluate his backups in the second half. Um, on the negative side, uh, Greg Jennings is questionable with the bruised knees. Uh, the former Kentucky star, the rookie wide receiver Randall Cobb, who's had him one hell of a spring camp, a summer camp so far, he is out with a bruised knee. Uh, but on the positive side, Clay Matthews uh, returning to action tonight after missing last week's game. I think the better way to play this game, since the starters are not going to play in the second half, and the second half is going to be more of a let's see uh, who can make this team from a Packers perspective. I think perhaps the better way to play this game is to take Green Bay in the first half where you're getting them at about, uh, oh, I'm looking here, six and a half, seven points some places. Nah, six and a half. Six and a half is really the most likely price you can get them tonight in the first half. So that's how I would play it as the free play. I would take Green Bay in the first half of the contest. Now for the other game, uh, St. Louis. One of my rare losers this preseason was St. Louis last week in a miserable performance. Uh, a 17-16 win against Tennessee in which the uh, second and third stringers had to rally for the win late in the contest. Uh, after the game, the coach was pissed off with their uh, display both offensively and defensively. Uh, first team offense only gained 70 yards on 27 plays after Sam Bradford opened the game with an 83-yard touchdown bomb. So they failed to produce. The defense allowed the Titans to run for 198 yards, averaging 5.7 yards per carry. The offensive line couldn't contain the various blitzes that Tennessee threw at them. And tonight they're going to be facing a 3-4 defense for the first time this summer. Uh, Steven Jackson wasn't particularly effective either. Now Kansas City has been awful. 
I mean, they lost 25 nothing at home to Tampa Bay in their opener, lost 31-13 to Baltimore last week. But that was a very deceiving score because, you know, that game was tied at 10 at halftime. Um, Tyler Paco and Matt Casale last week, 14 for 27 combined for about 168 yards in the contest. The ground game, though, is what has really been struggling for Kansas City, even though they got Jamal Charles and Thomas Jones, etc. Last week against Baltimore, they only combined to average uh, the whole team 3.5 yards per carry. Uh, you know, originally I thought St. Louis would be the play based on the fact that they played so poorly last week. But the more I thought about it is this is a key game for Kansas City, new offensive system, right, under Josh McDaniel, the former Denver coach, their new offensive coordinator. I think it's important they get the ground game established tonight and get something going offensively as well. So I lean a little toward Kansas City in that contest. Currently, uh, the Chiefs in that game getting one to one and a half points in the game, but... Not enough to even give it to you as a free pick. So I'll go with the Packers in the first half as your freebie. I lean a little toward Kansas City. Remember, the money-saving discount coupon code is going to be 20STORM. Good luck, guys, and I'll catch you again on Saturday morning.